Okay. We're back with some more of this. So last time we were finishing up um uh basically clean up the mess from uh, the Civil War. So now we're gonna try to um basically uh, get over to here, start this, and then start working on our military stuff. Let me expand the uh planes and all that. Don't really like uh, this path. I could probably do that path another time if uh, you guys want me. If I like a if I do a cold check, I'll probably do that path maybe. Cause this is the only path where you can't actually, you know, get like war goals. I think somewhere. Yeah, you got preparations for war and all that. So I think you can't get war goals for them. But anyway, be sure and loyalty to the army. I don't really mess with that, but. Oh yeah, last episode, the Southeast Union decided to join us. I gotta say, pretty damn cool of them. There's a bunch of territory that we have core that we don't need to fight for. So let us, uh, lower our subjects. Makes sense, considering, uh, this over here. You guys, um... Quite no. Um, you see, you guys can go over here to um, Central Asia. At least for now. See here we got decent manpower. We really just need to give it this. Let's start doing this. So let's destroy populous, dangerous populous at least. We say had a colorful history of political change and chaos, and one of the worst things to come out was the populistic forces of the left and right. You must deal with neo-revolutionary and neo-Manchevik as soon as possible if we are to create a steeple and worthy Russia. Yep. We gotta make sure that we can be able to hang out. No, to hang out, we'll be able to dish fucking, um... You have to pay in for, uh... Ukraine. Pretty sure they're gonna get that shit soon. In Belarus. I don't mind who it is in Belarus. That's a that's interesting to focus. See, so yeah, I hope you guys uh been liking this. I don't know why that's there. And I know the fuck's gonna win that. Definitely. But have you guys been liking this so far? It's uh, been pretty uh, fun. Some unexpected tourists and turns and interesting shit going down. So that's the smash of a war over. The oven god fires of Spain burns bright. He does. So that's a full accelerationist that they have. Nope, and Franco joined back with the National Front. I think, uh. I think, uh, for any faction, whoever wins joins the, uh. Franco will join that faction, regardless of who they are. I think, I don't know. I haven't seen all the paths that, uh. You can go down to a certain area. Let's uh, get revive all the mother then. The Soboda, the Soboda is in the process of being cleared and salvaged from the other world of courtyards and carpets and social elements. But now shall rise against the hegemon of the heartland. So we basically, Selena, basically we get cores on her. I think we don't really like, we already got them as cores but they have two times don't know how that works well I guess it's just to make sure that everything's cored and shit Let's 
Syria. Which path did I go down on? Despotis. Uh, so they uh, got the Holy Land stuff. What? Got the Holy Land, Holy Rule. Then we got this path, Mother Russia, due to son, which gets you to become a puppet to the Russian Empire. I kind of want to do that path one day, just so. Just so we can have like a pretty thick Assyria, that's part of Russia. Which would technically mean though that Russia could expand from like fucking, like fucking here to there. Like that now, probably here as Russia. So Russia can become fucking big if like. Everything turns out super well. Got my twenty percent. Cause of that, we'll fix that soon. I just want to at least get a new course to Great Russia. So let's see here. How about we call elections to new state Duma? The state Duma is our representative. It's our respective institution for centuries now. Calling for an election would be the appropriate approach. That means to have the eternal regent. Like the monarchy. Your boy over here needs to do what needs to be done for Russia. We are now the Russian Empire. Cortex legacy will be scrubbed clean. At the very least. <clears throat> it shall be shown as to what not to do. When ruling Russia. Successful purge. And that's the focus you stuff. Hmm. The music isn't too loud. He's gonna be winning that, it looks like. Yeah, I gotta extend for him. I'm everywhere. So, the new Doma, Dreydovsky, has called for a new Doma to be formed in order to legitimize and submit his rule in the eyes of the people. Rather than start claiming to desire them, as some had expected him to. He is now seeking to make himself the constitutional leader, a uh, caretaker to the throne, and apparent leader for life. The new doom is being assembled, but his uh, composition is yet to be seen. Many expect the Russian Kaiser to stack his parliamentary with military men and allies. Some believe he may truly be a free list of House of Elected Official. Hmm. Uh. What about stability? Let's agree to fair elections. And we got a. Uh, don't we have at least a political system? So let's glorify our warriors. Glory, glory to our warriors, indeed. Uh, let's see here. Doctrines. Get Cass in there. Calling off ain't doing shit right now. If 
But we are slowly but surely getting factories done. Yeah, monopolized industry is being a pain in our ass. And we need that stability at all cost. Well, why choose we do fair elections? Can I get them stibs? Them staples? Stibs. 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 Fuck. Damn it. Have an eye on you. My units out there. Don't really need some of these. Uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use you actually. See some special forces in there. Fuck it. Well, the eyes up here. I guess it's uh, the might go to war with us. Let's see you bugged in the focus tree. So, so no regulations from there. Glory to eternal Leo Drydovsky. Some more political power. For us. And then once we do that, we'll start focusing on our military. Since, uh, hmm. Oh, cool logistics snack well, but. Choose for there, but just get that. So now, soon, the region shall be eternal. Oh, we ain't uh, this man over here, or at least going to improve the life of Russia. Unlike him, if you know what I'm talking about, then good to you. You. Uh, <laughs> Like to do a lot of reading. It's fine by me. I don't really give a shit. Some of that. All the people just made it to start work. And then uh, we'll go for a new course to the Great Russia. Intensify. How we intensify the uh, before we intensify with vacation, maybe? Yeah. Seeing what we got to do, we got a lot of work ahead of ourselves, and we're gonna need many people. And we're gonna need one in a hell of an army. Because there are lots of potential enemies all around. <whistles> yeah, the Imperial Authority got annexed. Trying to get some more peep peep. It's getting bigger. Called Radowski. Yeah, now that we used to place a region for life. Uh, probably do this later. But for now, I need a fucking find a new course to the Great Russia. <coughs> Damn. How about that sounds of my thought, but yeah. Get that. And now let's have a new Russian army. Let's 
Excuse you. Let's see a new course of the Great Russia. We have a far too long reigned industrial dinosaur, a nation without even the size number of factories or even a little tolerable infrastructure. No longer we shall use the new course policy to secure Russia's future as an industrialized nation and develop as much, if not more, than its European enemies to the Great Russia. So with various focus seas. Depending on which territory that we own, we can expand them using PP plus two the infrastructure. Yeah, that's uh, fucking. Fucking, that's a bad. Used to get some cash up in here. It's sooner or later. Sooner or later, we're gonna go. To war, someone's gonna go with us. We need to be ready. Definitely be ready. Yeah, I'm getting. I guess you can see I'm getting slightly paranoid. Mainly because the possibility that I could get fucked beyond all belief. So, unlike the AI, I'm gonna focus on getting our infantry worked and I don't know which side I want to choose uh I'll either go with corner love or train the for loves mm, I don't really care about this I really we don't need that because we're gonna get infrastructure there anyway. And I don't really care about armor and mechanized. I need a good fucking army. So let's do bridge metal support. Some support companies. Up over here, at least. Let's get some more there. Food trans have been real well. Look at that. Trans type. I don't need to do some focus tree for some of this. Well, they're looking good. Well, it's supposed to be decent. This will purge. This one done with. So let's go for field hospitals in the meantime. Some more infantry equipment. Actually, we go with logistics. Probably gonna need that more. <coughs> Lead from experience, we're probably gonna need some more of that shit. Keep an eye on you. Right now, slightly. Our regimental support. I just get ordnance updates. Yes, I be is a puppet. Yeah.
Well, at us. These guys. Oh, they could go to war with us, I think. But the nigga is doing this thing. Visions. The planes are coming up. We got some engineer companies. I haven't gotten them yet. Mechanize as our whatever tanks we do have are effective. Yeah. It's a lot of build up for this, but it's gonna be worth it. Let's really kick the enemy's ass. Or at least beat the fuck out of them. At least event. I think this occurs in um, all places of Russia, I think. At least for the Novorossi and general government and Russian Empire. We've been all here for you. The party. The room is bathed in the sound of music. Now you heard any of these vaults. All street and castle go on at the same time, subtle and luxurious. Enough to hear that more. The music is bright, full lease, and rightly checked, like a young woman. From a cloth hall, brave and improved like a yearly young man, in a broad new fur coat. <clears throat> I think I've. Like a curly young man, like okay. Yeah, I thought I've. I double checked that for a second. Who definitely and boldly drives his three horses chest. And it seems like he will crush everything that will not be lucky to happen on his way. The music then falls, as if diving onto the depth of the blue sea, and then soars, as if into the sky, deep, strong, but. Quite old fashioned. The Russian dance is coming to an end, but the couples continue to waltz and the sound of boots ring in the air. In the center of the hall, on a shiny parquet, dancing beautiful pairs of mother of pearl and crimson silk, ladies in embroidered caucasian nicks and old fashioned sundresses. Oh, how many steam dresses and shoemakers worked on them! And gentlemen in high craftons, grilled with colorful belts. Lupachin, yes, greatness. As if, time, as if the time for Alexei Mikhailovich returned for a moment for his bed, going over the stable for a cold of past epochs, returned to hide in the folds of classical canopies and modern waltzes of French courtiers. Where have you disappeared? A beautiful epoch of peace and idyllic. Here is the master, here is to the master of the ball, the old Count Tura of dancing with his respectable, fairy stabled wife, <laughs> himself like a boy off on the epics. Senior to us, Sasha, a dandy and fashionista, from a thin black must the thin black mustache and quick look is nearby. His partner, the young Sofia Triukinova, a model of pure youth, not yet tarred with the storm of life, completely languished. Maybe it's too hot in a heavy dress, or maybe it looked of Sasha too sensual. They are a beautiful couple. He was a thin and strict stereotype at the Aussie German, Andrew von Wettenbach, trying to look as always decent. But still embarrassed under the stubborn pressure of Countess Untham Saikia. The ladies whisper with smiles that the Countess seems to have decided to stop being an old maid. She flatters the embarrassed Mr. Andrews so much. Not everyone dances. Junior Turov, Roman, stood without a partner and participated in the sluggish conversation between those who do not dance. He is not in his plate. He is squeezed by the call of his crafting. Even this rumor squeezes him, to be honest. Roman would rather be in St. Petersburg again, among his non-noble friends, rather than these disheveled antiquities, but whatever. He promised his father it would be very bad to embarrass him and not show up. Eventually, him and Anlina will need this damned money sooner rather than later. And then the music fades again, and this time, finally. The couple mix, the couples mix and go aside, while a servant comes out to the center and suddenly announce, And now the vaults, ladies and gentlemen. 
pretty that flavor event I've do this on myself. And I'm pretty sure you get to that event regardless of which path you go down in Russia. Yeah, I probably will do those other paths as well. Yeah, Green Ukraine annex them. Uh, I don't think that they can unify. And I wish you pack with them. And it's we'll go with them. That's about it. Looks like they can do something with the technocracy. There's been new infantry equipment. Get some more infantry equipment, so. The US becomes a technocracy. A technocracy Inc. Yeah. I'm probably gonna do two playthroughs of the US with Technocracy Inc. and. of. and of California. And I know which one I wanna do for California. So let's get um it's an aviation committee, I don't know why I fucking see. Uh so I don't want you guys just yet. Well at least have some. I'll at least be able to get to this before I choose that. Choose any of them, I guess. No tanks max speed. Uh, get the speed of them heavies. Yeah, I just need to like fucking some more research slots. Yeah, let's expand that. Moscow Kazan Railway. Pipping out all the infrastructure. And yeah, that's gonna get two, so that's gonna max out by scale. Let's uh, get some of these. Okay, so now let's reorganize the Stavaka. A description for most of these. Basically, we are gonna re equip and restructure this whole damn military. We are gonna become great power again. Hopefully, soon. At least enough of that way, once war does come and knock in, we can at least put up a decent fight. And hopefully, we don't get into too much fighting. I don't mind the fighters with that. I want to deal with being on multiple fronts. Uh, civilian factories are getting better. <coughs> it's not total mob. Pretty damn nice. Who should be our first plan of attack? Probably, probably those in Central Asia, maybe. Yeah, we can just knock them out of the park right away. Expand the front over with the steps. There's a pressure on them when the time comes. Okay, okay, so sadly we can probably deal with that. Just so that I really need that damn manpower. It's Mongol Horizon there. Probably. Get some from like fucking there. You just need some real quick. Let's 
some rubber. Hmm. Yeah, we're out of time. Just off checking that real quick. So yeah, this episode we we begin the eternal regent, and we're playing a new course for Russia. Next time we're gonna be pipping out the military. Probably between the end of side which path I'm gonna go down to, but till then I'm the Mad Lords and I'll see you guys later.